I think there's a problem. I cannot see the crosshair. And there's no scope. Scope is now working. Who provides the best gaming experience in FPS shooters nowadays? Starting with looking. Look left. Look right. Look left. Look right. Left. Right. Look left. Look right. This is how you get your weapon. You just need to press a button in changing weapons. Well, in VR, here. Me. Or you can also get from your side, here. Me. So in aiming, all gaming platforms have the same control in looking and aiming, while for VR, your hand aiming is different from where your head is looking. Cock your gun, like this, and you shoot. Again, on other platforms, it just takes one button to reload. reload. While in VR, there's a series of actions that needs to be done. Get your magazine, just hold it, and then pull. Reload your magazine, grab it from your vest, and put it in. Cock it again. Using scope just needs a click of a button scope. on others. Scope. While in VR, you need to move your head and your hands. Let's try to scope the other ones. Crouching is also physically intensive in VR versus other platforms. This is how you crouch. This is how you crouch. By physically crouching. This is how the no look shoot. And this is something that other platforms cannot do and only can be done in VR. This is a no look shooting, no look shooting. Huh. And, peek. and here's how I see gamers may handle a rifle if they apply how they handle their controllers. Starting with VR gamers, where the big difference they will find is on the weight of the gun, which is a lot heavier than the controllers. For console gamers, they may find having no joystick a problem. I cannot see the crosshair. The scope is not working. For mobile gamers, they may not be able to shoot at all since they use their thumb to fire. There's no crosshair! And finally, for PC gamers, keyboard and mouse position will influence gun handling too. I think there's a problem! I cannot see the crosshair! And there's no scope! Scope is now working! And those are just some of the comparisons. I would actually call it finger gaming platform versus full body gaming platform. In VR, gone are the days where only your finger muscles improve because of full body movement. There is now a very high chance of us looking like our official gaming mascot, Henry Cavill. Hello there, Regil here. If you like guns or want to explore guns and its accessories, I think a VR headset and Gun Club VR game will be your best investment. There's a lot of VR shooters nowadays, but the focus is more tuned in the multiplayer aspect and you'll immediately notice the limited number of guns that are available. If you're looking for the best gun simulator with arcade style gameplay to bring that gun sport spirit and a sandbox mode for you to be able to explore guns and its accessories in the gun range, Gun Club VR! Is the right game for you in this episode let me show you the game modes it can offer from the standard pistol run to the zombie mode gameplay but before that do not forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't yet let's start with the number of guns you can use here a total of 31 guns to explore from pistols okay there you go so this is the sandbox mode where you can choose whatever weapon you want to smgs Ooh. Shotguns. Shotgun. 
Assault okay. rifles! I all at one word, I use this. Sniper rifles! <gasps> Steady. And you can mix and match. Do like Shut hello to my little friend! You can add multiple attachments to your gun as well, which which will give gun handling Service. a different feel. There you go. Okay, I think this is pink. Try this. Fight me. This is excluding the multiple skins also available per gun. And the gun library is quite extensive. Now, let me show you some gameplays available in Gun Club VR. So you're usually greeted by this one, a warehouse where you have the guns. You can buy weapons there on the left side. Up front is your screen where you can do some upgrades. There you go, upgrades of your gun. As you can see, I've already up upgraded mine to a high capacity round with flashlight and a silencer. Me too. There we go. There we go. Look at this. There we go. As you can see that there was a SWAT car outside and you can shoot there. This is a uh, warehouse and you can either go to pistol, action, zombie, and sideshow. There we go. At pistol, I'm already at uh, event 28. Let's try something. Yeah, let's try this. Three, two, one, engage. Stage clear. Go. I'm good. good. Devastating. That was devastating, as they say. Okay, I'm about to, let's try the zombie one. Okay, it requires a flashlight. So, there you go. Okay, flashlight. Three, two, one. Move it. is more of like a World War II event. Oh, let's do the AK. Yeah, let's try the AK. Okay. You can see it. Three, two, one, go! This game can be played on a standalone Quest headset and currently sells at $19.99 at the Quest store. This is a shooter game ideal for gamers who is not into multiplayer but uh, would still like a challenge. This is for those who love guns as they really did a great job in its simulation and the gun variety is quite big. Now you don't need to spend a penny to use a gun range or buy bullets. This is like uh, getting an unlimited access to gun trials or gun testing. I hope you like this episode and see you on my next video. Bye bye!